And it is Fleet Week in South Florida. Four ships pulled into Port Everglades early this morning. There are events happening all week to honor about 2,000 military members who've just arrived. CBS 4's Silva Harapetian is live at Port Everglades with a look. Silva, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right behind me is USS Baton. And you know what? The USS Baton has the largest social media following uh, you could think of here of all the ships out there. And we're told all the servicemen and women looking forward to uh, departing the ship and getting into the community. Fleet Week in South Florida. Thousands of sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen arrived at Port Everglades early Monday morning. Home for the week, these sailors happy to be reunited with their families and looking forward to a little South Florida rest and relaxation. This is a, my first Fleet Week and I get to come back home and see my family. I'm just excited, excited to be back. Fishing. I can't wait to go fishing. Navy ships participating this year include the USS Bataan, the largest ship, taking part in Fleet Week, an amphibious assault ship that carries sailors and Marines. Yeah, I have so much pride in South Florida, and I'm so excited for them to get to interact here. Our cultural awareness is amazing. Um, all the things that they can do, it's just, it's, it's unique for them. The USS Cole and USS Bainbridge, both commissioned here in Fort Lauderdale. You may remember USS Cole was attacked in the Middle East. 17 sailors lost their lives on board, a reminder of their sacrifice. The Hall of Heroes. There were 17 gold stars laid in the deck uh, called the Hall of Heroes. We shine them every day. We treat that with the utmost respect uh, for the 17 sailors that passed that day. And USS Bainbridge's claim to fame is that it was the main ship that led the rescue of Captain Phillips. The real life story turned into a movie starring Tom Hanks. The thing that I most look forward to is getting out there with the people from South Florida and tell them how greatly appreciated we are of all the great support they give their United States Navy. We could not do what we do without all their support and their appreciation and their love of their Navy is something that we so look forward to. And back here live, also here, USS California, which is a submarine. Now, if you're interested in seeing the servicemen and women, you can join them at Hard Rock at tonight at 6 o'clock. We're live, Silva Harapetti on CBS 4 News.